Okay, so the first cut we want to make is to open up the body cavity, and the first thing to do is get the skin off. So you want to take a scissors or a scalpel and go down into there, and you'll see the skin is loose there. I always have the wrong scissors. Here we go. There we go. And so you want to cut across this way. So if you're frog, you want to make the first cut would be then this side, and then you want to go up the middle midline. You can go as far as you want. You can go all the way up to the tip of the mouth if you want to. And then you know, parts there, you cut loose anything that's hanging on still. And then a good thing to do is probably go across about here, about where the legs are. Cut out to the outside, both directions. And now you basically have some flaps you can peel back, a little connective tissue there, peel that back, peel that back. And now you've exposed the, the muscle, the abdominal muscles, and now you want to do, your next sit would be to go ahead and do that, basically that same thing. You want to cut through that, you want to keep your scissors pressed up against the muscle, cut sideways. and then up the midline. So you get to about where you can feel the bone up there, you can cut through that or you can kind of leave that for now. And then again I would cut out toward the arms to create a flap. And now you can just fold all that back and expose the internal organs of the frog. You can see the liver there right on top. Okay, so we've, we've cut our flaps of our skin and muscle back. We've exposed this abdominal cavity. These large structures, and these can vary in size, but often there are these large fat bodies on both sides. And in order to see structures better, it's often better to remove those. So if you kind of just go back in and get close to the base and cut those fat bodies away. So you can remove, there's a few more down there, but for right now they're not in the way. So you just go ahead and cut that fat body. Now you can see structures like the liver and the stomach a lot more easily. Okay, now to the last cut would be to, you want to extend the cut up to see the heart. So we'll cut up this way through the bone and you can kind of, then you'll be able to kind of see how that pulls apart. And there's your heart right there. And so if you want to, you could remove these uh, sections of, of tissue, muscle, and bone uh, and open that up even more. And there's your heart right there. So you can hear them up. And you can see there's a pericardium covering that. You can tear see that tissue. You can, tear, you can move some of that tissue away to expose the heart even more.